think the 5R framework is all about the cultural framework we've built around how we go about making decisions and running our drug discovery projects. We did a piece of work, as you know, in, when I first arrived in 2010, that reviewed all the decisions that we'd made and, and as a consequence, what we could learn from those decisions and what areas of drug discovery and development we could focus on to improve the probability of success of our programs. And the five key themes that we came up with, which were right target, right exposure, right tissue, uh, right patient, right safety, and ultimately right commercial. That's the framework that we've built all of our projects and our decision-making around. And as a consequence, what we've seen is the quality of our projects, the quality of our decision-making, and ultimately our success rates have gone up. Probably one of the most significant changes we've made was to reduce the size and expand the scope of our discovery portfolio. The driving factor around this was to focus on the disease biology up front. This is about getting the right target and doing everything we can to be successful at that target. This mentality has a very profound effect on project teams as they have stronger reason to believe in the targets that they're working on. As a consequence, we don't want projects to fail because of lack of chemical leads. We've implemented innovative screening technologies, novel chemistry platforms, complex cell screens that are more linked to disease biology, automation, robotics, that all increase our capacity and the speed at which we can screen for new chemical leads. The difference for AstraZeneca, I would say, is around the, the, the real true integration that we're seeing at that preclinical to clinical interface. What they bring forward is, a, is an integrated view of, of, of the exposure that's needed, the target engagement that is needed um, to elicit efficacy in the patient population, and the safety risk assessment in terms of whether or not we will have enough of a therapeutic index in order to be able to work um, at the right clinical doses. Our incredibly talented internal scientists have been working with external experts around the globe. And we've been picking out those hidden drivers of disease so that we are able to uncover those hidden mechanisms behind even complex disease and common diseases like cardiovascular and respiratory disease. We are starting to see examples where teams, before they go into clinical development, are able to target the right patients and the right biomarkers to select patients so that our drugs are more likely to be successful. We can, from our preclinical modeling, ask the question, what would it take our medicine to work in a patient? And we can slim that down to two or three really quite precise questions and design our trials to really get a good answer to those questions. It's very easy to be lost in the sea of all the data that's possible, but the five R's provides the focus and tells us what to really pay attention to. Having the confidence to be able to make those decisions around progression or around dose adjustment, or in some cases around project closure. Uh, th those are the kind of questions that I think our scientists are, are, are very able and show that they are able to make uh, now. What's tremendously exciting is that we can point to several programs in our portfolio that several years ago we would have said, these programs are undruggable. We did not have chemical leads for those targets, but those programs today are alive and moving forward in our discovery and development pipeline. How do we improve our success rate further still? How far can we push the model? How much better can we get at our productivity aims in terms of improving our success rates? Is it 30%, 40%, 50%? We still need to understand our diseases and our targets and our pathways better. And hopefully by working with the best scientists within AstraZeneca as well as the best collaborators from around the world, we can help push our industry to set new standards and new highs that would ultimately make us a very productive and successful industry and organization.